guys and welcome back to Disney House. Today is the 29th of December. Yes, my hair is semi-wet. Yes, Nikon is making the beds over there. There you are. Basically, I've just eaten the last truffle of Christmas. Feeling pumped. <laughs> We're doing a massive room rearrange. So this video is going to be a huge Disney room redecoration situation. <laughs> Sorting out everything, going through everything we don't need, organizing uh, what I'm gonna sell on Depop, take into the car boot sale, things like that. Just generally cutting down. I hope that you enjoy this journey. So I'm gonna do a before and an after. So let me show you how it looks at the moment. So if I stand over here by the sort of balcony doors, then you'll be able to see the situation. This room looks like this, and to be honest, this isn't gonna change much, because I love how it is. I just may put this area in more of a controllable situation. But I already love how this room is. Things are gonna be sorted, just because there's a lot of stuff everywhere. Hello, Nikon. Everyone knows that this bit through here um, has always been a kind of nightmare area. This is what we call Cuddly Mountain, um, which is all gonna be sorted. And yeah, it's quite extensive. And I've got shelves there as well. They're all gonna be sorted and just, yeah. Then over this side, as you can see, there are more shelves at the moment. Eventually this is all gonna look so different. And then this is where my current Christmas haul is. <laughs> so this needs sorting as well. At the moment, this is Nikon's gaming desk and the shelves up here. You guys may have also seen my like office like decorating video. Well, that's changing again. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, but I've already started organizing some things. So there are some boxes in the middle of the room and stuff like that because it's already half sorted. As you guys know, I run my own business, Give Me Geek. So there's a lot of stock in here, which I am going to properly organize organized into new shelves and things like that. Here's what this looks like at the moment. So as you can see, all the new deliveries and stuff I've had are just here. All of the stuff that I use for like the marketing, the photos is here. Piano's in this room. I've already moved the record player. That used to be over here. Yeah, so this is this room, Panicon. And this is where my desk was and things like that. It's just in a process at the moment, a process. Another big thing that we have to sort out is in this room, we've had a leak in our roof. We're gonna do something makeshift with that, this situation. So as you can see, it's a massive leak and there's a little hole there as well from where there's just so much water. Is the current situation and I cannot wait to show you what we end up doing with it and how we end up resolving all of this stuff. Changed into some minging clothes. This is my old tweety pie jumper. This shelving unit is now in the office where the sofa and stuff was. And we just got this up over the balcony because it wouldn't go up the stairs. And I um, made a little abrasion on my pinky finger, but a minor, minor injury. So I've just been anti-back wiping this and it was getting in the little greys. So I've just put a little splen, 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 thin plaster on it. So one thing I absolutely love is records, old vinyl records and record player. Can you hear my mum singing? She's playing, playing mine and Nikon's music, which is pretty embarrassing. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> I used to have loads. Um, as you guys know, I do nothing in moderation. So I used to have so, so many, and now this is um, what's left of my collection. But just have a little look at some of the stuff that I <laughs> that I've got. Some of these are mine, some of these are Nikons, but I mean, you can tell, Abba Gold, mine. Dolly Parton Blue Smoke, amazing album. Uh, these are like all of my like, recommendations I would make for really good full albums. I love Queen. I have a good selection of Queen. <laughs> What's that? Hey, hey. What is that, Dad? Insulation. That's yeah. what I thought. Oh, okay. Find up there. Be so I wet. flew like a bird to me, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, it's not too wet, is it's it?" Not as bad as I thought. It's a bit mouldy on the bottom. Honest. What's up there so far, Dad? Wind. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that'll get me in now, son. Dad, you stick my camera up there. I've got it on oh, record. That's the part where we find a ghost, <laughs> isn't it? There it is, right at the top up there. And you've got a bit of white tape there, it looks like a hole, but that's the hole right up there. That, <laughs> that is a direct hole. Dad, can you actually reach it? Yeah. So, we are almost at the end of, oh, it's technically day two, I suppose, because I've been doing some sorting the day before. So, 
day two of revamp. Piano is now in this room. The hole in the roof has been covered. The most important thing is it's not gonna leak anymore, which is exciting. Let me show you the progress I've made in the spare room. Here's the office at the moment. I'm just moving all of my sensitive ornaments in here. Also sorted most of my stock out, but it doesn't look as impressive now because I've got stuff in the way. <laughs> I am so tired this morning. My cat's meowing. Today is going to be a day of sorting out clothes. The problem is I have too many and so I need to whittle them down and I find it really hard to get rid of clothes because they remind me of times or like experiences. So we'll just see how it goes. Do you guys struggle to get rid of things? I mean, it's pretty obvious that I do. <laughs> Because the thing is as well, I think like having things doesn't really hurt anyone like as long as you can live nicely in your space and all that Like who cares and it does make me really happy like this makes me so happy This room is not being changed and I've been looking at what kind of gaming setup I want and I found this beautiful light blue chair that I think I need but we're starting with little Baskets that I have so they're not even in my cupboard they're just baskets I have because I have so much overflow. But there are some really cool things in here, but they need to be kept better. Like, look at the state. So I'm hoping I can organise enough to keep this nice. So this is something that I actually found at a vintage kilo sale where you grab as much as you can and it's £15 per kilo, so you pay by weight of the clothes. But this is adorable. It's just a little shirt and it's got a little bit of a tartan thing. It's kind of semi-see-through, so it's really good for, like, the summer and stuff like that but it needs to be kept nicer. So that's a definite keep. I've got really cute things like this. It's really good for layering, but then there's always an excuse to keep everything, isn't there? That's the problem. This is really cute, but I never wear it. I know I don't wear it. It's originally from Skinny Dip and it's a little Mean Girls quote. I can't go out tonight. <coughs> I'm thick. Which is really cute, but it's slightly cropped and it's quite wide. So it it's ill-fitting. So why do I keep these things? I mean, I know this is ill-fitting, but it's like meant to be big. This is like meant to be cute and it's not. To be honest, my sister would probably love that over me. So that can go in my sister's pile. I would much rather wear this than I would that Mean Girls jumper. So that's, that's the theory I go with when organizing. You're welcome, that's my... <laughs> my bit of uh, wisdom. Today is a day of sorting cuddly toys. Now, as you guys know, I am a very emotional, sentimental person, and so this part is going to be one of the hardest, but there are a lot that I do not need. I, th I think I probably have eight Sebastians. I probably have 12 Simbas and Nalas. Um, a lot of them are the same, <laughs> like exactly the same. So I know I need to sort it out and make the situation a bit more livable. This is the space that I'm gonna tackle today. In here, I need to fit not only my new gaming PC, but also my Mac to do all of my music on. If you don't know, me and Nikon do music, but we do it all from home, which is a nightmare because what do you need? Space. <laughs> I'm not gonna film myself doing it because I know what I'm like. I will watch this back one day and I'll be like, I should have kept that one. I get like that. So um, I'm not gonna film me sorting out the cuddlies because this is the pit that literally breaks my heart. I've got this bear that, and this is the first bear that I remember getting. It's this little dude. <laughs> How cute is he? That one can stay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just splitting them up. There's stuff everywhere. This is currently the situation. I'm keeping those, definitely keeping those so far. And here we spot a tidal wave of cuddlies. <laughs> might be really disappointing. I don't think so. That, uh, that was really disappointing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, it's this happening. Is still really disappointing. It is, isn't it? <laughs> This is really disappointing content. No, a spider! A spider! <laughs> yeah, I've always kind of hated him. I see Timon. I'm there. I'm gonna cry so off. <laughs> this Timon um, was given to me by my uncle Gary, who... God, I literally thought this was gonna be easier. <laughs> he died in October. And one of the... I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. One of the messages um, that I had from him was a picture of this Timon. He was like, oh, "Do you want this?" Because obviously, I love Disney, and I was obviously like, "Yes, please." <laughs> um, and I knew I had him somewhere, but I just had this terrible feeling. I was like, "Have I not kept him safe? Like, I I couldn't remember where I'd put him." Um, 
And yeah, I just found him. And that was just meant to be a funny clip of the tidal wave of cuddlies and now it's turned into this. But yeah, this Timon is from uh, my Uncle Gary. So that means so much. And yeah, I'm a mess. But I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> it's another day. I'm back in my disgusting clothes <laughs> ready to sort more stuff out. So today is cuddlies. We're also going to actually tackle the hammock. Let me show you the hammock. You can see why I don't often touch it. I honestly feel like that's going to be such a nightmare as soon as we move it. Here are all the ones that I'm definitely keeping. And I know it looks like I literally have got rid of none. This is the first time in ages we've been able to open this door. It's extremely yellow. But to be fair, it was already like that. And it looks worse because we've recently painted these walls like white. We're about to move my wardrobe through here and into the office. Right, there's a cat right underneath us, sit. This all looks the same in here, but I've cleared all of this space and I've just started going through my under cupboards here. These are the definitely keeps. Can you hear that echo? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Actually echoes in here because, check it out. Pew, gone, empty. Emptied the hammocks and everything. These are all of my movie posters that used to be next to my cupboard, which we are gonna roll out at some point and see what's inside and stuff. Some of them I already know. This is a Doctor Strange one, which is huge, Coco huge. And then I've got a lot of smaller ones as well, which is really cool. I'm not sure what I'm doing about these yet. I might get rid of my Zum Zums, I'm not sure. It's a really hard decision. This is my temporary desk situation. The big news is I invested in a desk today. It was only £60 from the range and it's coming Tuesday so I'll show you that when that arrives. For now we're going to go and have a McDonald's and watch the Harry Potter reunion. Today is trying to put the cuddlies that I've decided to keep in places they should be and hopefully sorting out Funko Pops. So hopefully by the end of it as well the collection will look a lot more sorted um, and I'll be able to actually find things when I want them. I'm procrastinating, can you tell? So guys, what I've done, I've taken a big pile of cuddlies and I've made five piles. <laughs> It's not going well. Uh, let me show you what I've got. These are here because the rest are on the shelf and I'm not sure which ones I have and which ones I don't. All of my non-Disney cuddlies. But the problem is they all mean like a lot so it's really difficult. This is all of my like large cuddlies. There are a couple of more next door. This is Harry Potter and some other random ones like Totoro and Tom Nook who I love. This is my set of Christopher Robin ones which I love. I'd love if they could be all on a shelf together. Disney pile obviously apart from my main wall <laughs> under there is christmas and then this is jelly cats and stife i don't remember the last time this room had an echo and this is currently next door which is the cupboard where most of the cuddlies are probably gonna end up on top of there show the people what you've been working on nick on <laughs> why are you wearing a mask you don't have rona oh no allergies the dust kills me oh it looks so crazy and we still haven't put all of them there. It is another day of organising. We made so much progress yesterday. We moved this stuff up here because the Funko Pops are here but we've actually decided that the Funko Pops need to go up one more shelf. Hopefully everything will naturally find its place at some point. My hair's still like half wet today. Does anyone ever do that when you like wash your hair but it's like damp because like you did it quite late last night? I've got damp hair. <laughs> Open the window! Let in the light! <laughs> so we've started storing some cuddlies up there. Honestly, are we gonna get many more up there? I'm not sure. This has potential to have lots of little cuddlies put into the gaps but this is now where we store my posters. So I've got one from Spider-Man Far From Home. Beauty and the Beast, Coco, Mary Poppins Returns, and yeah, the rest. <laughs> it works quite well because you can't tell from the front that the wardrobe's quite far out, so I'm pleased with that a little bit. <laughs> it has been a couple of days since the last update because it's been a mess. The desk didn't arrive when it was meant to, um, so we're still waiting for that and it could take another week. I might conquer this today. That's a goal, not a promise. <laughs> this room is probably the most progress. So this is where my desk will eventually be. So it's all a bit of an in-progress mess at the moment. Um, piano's looking good. They've got the cuddlies just everywhere. These I'm actually really proud of. Um, they just look cool. They just look so much better than they did before. Is it? Yes, it's your desk. Woo, woo, I'm standing on cats. Well, I'm building that for you tonight, alright? I'm building. Done them. Ready for these. Guys, the desk is in. 
Um, this is so exciting. So my gaming computer is not ready yet. I'm basically having all of Nikon's cast offs. Check this out. These desks have little bars underneath. So I've put some cuddlies under there and I just love it. So guys, I'm officially sat at my new desk today. Um, that's so exciting. I can't believe that I finally sat at my desk. It's a mess still because I don't have enough shelves. And the ones that I wanted from being q weren't in stock. Possibly going to Wix or something else i look really tired today i didn't sleep very well um uh long story short i keep getting loads of long covid symptoms um i've had them since i had covid a couple of months ago so things like chest pains i still can't taste and smell properly i have this awful taste and smell of like bin juice and chemicals and i feel like people aren't talking about it it's not great so stay safe out there so i've got all me dolls but that's not all huns that's like not even half because I got more there. This Dumbo is a vintage Dumbo and he only cost me five pounds and I saw him in a charity shop window once when I was driving by and I just love him. I just think he is absolutely special. Um, so I'm sorting out the dolls and as you can see, I've been trying to fit them back where they were and I haven't succeeded. I don't understand how I got them to fit before. Motivation is at an all time low. <laughs> I am still working on the wall and other random areas. I've done my shelves now above the desk in the other room, but I'm gonna wait until the end reveal to properly show you that area. Hello everybody. I have just got into my um, rough clothes. I don't know what you'd call them, you know, like cleaning clothes. Everyone has like the clothes that they cleaning or if they were ever painting a house they'd wear them basically just been listening to the encanto soundtrack this morning it's been a very very slow morning i'm ready to face it again one thing i did find was this arebus brothers box and i believe it's a tiara i just want to see what it's like it's gone a bit rusty to be honest i haven't worn it at all it's just been sat in the box this is what it's like but i don't know if you can see it's actually rusted, which is such a shame. Princess of Genovia. <laughs> I have no idea how long it's been since I've begun this journey. Um, I spent the day in bed yesterday because I was really poorly. I feel better, but um, not 100%. <laughs> Hence the black hoodie. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna carry on. I'm in this disgusting hoodie. I've literally been like using the sleeves to wipe away dust and things because that's how us real collectors do it. No Mrs. Hinch here, just <laughs> use the sleeve. Ordered my gaming chair, that's due this week. Oh my gosh! Look at that colour! The comfiest chair I've ever sat in. Check it out. I've got the lumbar support got the headrest <laughs> and uh, I've got this oh yeah <laughs> I am so happy to say my room is finished I can finally show you the revamped space that we are dealing with so um, I'll just go start to finish and show you everything starting with my bedroom this room looks like this and to be honest this isn't going to change much because i love how it is as you can see this room hasn't changed loads um some of the other spaces have changed crazy amounts but i have reorganized all of the plush gave them all a bit of a move around um and then you come onto this wall here you can see i have decided to hang my lounge fly bags up here i've managed to clear it a lot that there, there were a lot a lot a lot of cuddlies on this wall i've still got my horses there behind this simba used to be a load of cuddly toys that i didn't know where to store and now it's completely clear it's just simba that is just a pillow <laughs> i have got a couple of dudes down here um a couple of special ones but yeah and i'm currently rereading 
Harry Potter. As you can see, I've got my Timon tucked in. <laughs> Up at the top here, you can see I've still got my Mickey memories, but I've also added a couple of different plush, which are particularly hard to sit on shelves. Now, this section above my telly has completely changed. So we've got <laughs> the pet collector from The Good Dinosaur. And then this is a load of non-Disney cuddlies that... Me and Nikon just absolutely love. They have some sort of sentimental value or something about them that we love. This used to be a shelf of Disney dogs. This is now more limited edition dolls. And then we have my telly. Things are going to be sorted just because there's a lot of stuff everywhere. I have arranged all of this stuff it suddenly looks very not arranged um <laughs> but trust me i've been through all of those baskets whittled down things and all of that the limited edition dolls carry on like they used to i have majorly whittled down my pin collection and so i actually have some space on my second flag now which i never thought would happen i have this case which is my harry potter case and that is also full of bags <laughs> it's Danielle the gold bags that I can't I can't get rid of this is the only place that is still not really organized it's a bit of a waste of space because I've just got a couple of things in them the back of my door is still a mess but that's okay when it came to the wall um I tried my very best as you can see to put cats and dogs in this section but then I realized that there were too many that were weird shapes like copper and Bruno and trusty I've kind of kept Toy Story at the top this is one of my new favorite shelves of all time so I've had to stack some behind but that's okay because it's all of my Encanto plush are behind there I've got a couple of Ryan Last Dragon ones behind there and yeah so it's a lot of my like recent favorites as well are there so I know where they are I absolutely love this area because as you can see it's like my Finding Nemo collection and a couple of little Finding Dory ones and then what I've done is Bing Bong only fits behind there sadly um but I've then put Luca plush there because it's all like under the sea see what I did there so that's sort of this room and then we come through and this I think is a massive massive transformation look you can see the door. This is what we call Cuddly Mountain, um, which is all going to be sorted. And yeah, it's quite extensive. So this was the space where my wardrobe used to be and the infamous Cuddly Mountain. And it is now empty. What? What I hear you say? Got my desk and everything there. I am a bit proud of myself, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Eventually, this is all going to look so different. This is where the bookshelves used to be. And as you can see, now it is my piano area. And next to it in the window, this used to be boxes, but now we've got the guitars lined up, which is really nice because they were kind of everywhere before, but now they're around. And of course we had to keep the cat tower. It's disgusting, but the cats love it. So what can you do? <laughs> Gaming desk and the shelves up here. This is Nikon's space. This hasn't changed loads, loads, but we've made a couple of changes to it the space next to him i've moved the funko pops to here because i feel like it was a better use of space and i was always a bit worried about them being on the shelf that they were on and they would fall down sometimes so now they fit really nice and snug there and then we've got a couple of once again awkward plush that won't go on a shelf sadly so you can see there's kind of finding nemo finding dory ones um where they have massive tails and yeah we fixed well patched over <laughs> the ceiling and the roof and then we have these collectibles up here so there's special edition glow in the dark buzz lightyear and a couple of other items that i wanted to keep safe so i'd rather than be up high and then of course you've got the christopher robin plush above the piano above the door you've got a couple of collectibles as well some mickey and minis we've got a couple of overflow on this shelf these i'm really pleased with so this used to be full of these blue nose style but nikon decided to um refine his collection finally decided to get rid of my zimzims because they just weren't bringing me joy anymore and i feel like look how good these look 
above the door i've got in here is jelly cats holiday plush and others that would fit <laughs> let's not pretend uh and this hammock is full of disney and then this shelf is my harry potter plush kind of shelf i do have more than this but this this will do for now this is my star wars kind of shelf but hello baby yoda i love this max rebo plush i know it's so weird but it's so cute i love it and then we come to my desk so i tried to keep it as minimal as possible above my desk i know some of you are probably even laughing at that that i think this is minimal but it is i've got the most beautiful chair on the planet now i only spent 60 quid on the desk the l-shaped desk so i splurged a bit on the chair i'm not gonna lie to you guys <clears throat> 200 pounds <clears throat> right it's the most expensive thing i've ever bought in my life but 100 percent worth it for the comfort i struggle with sciatica and things like that so needed a good chair this desk is actually brilliant for 60 quid so let me move the chair and i'll show you around it it wouldn't be my part of the room if i didn't have plush everywhere and i just thought it was absolutely genius where else would i put these massive plush i did buy a new mouse and keyboard this has a silicone cover on it but wow look at that isn't that so satisfying so i bought a really nice new thing that was only 15.99 for the keyboard and the mouse this is all of my desk junk so this is still a little bit unorganized i still have some work to do but i'm pretty happy with it and this is like what we record our music with so we need that to be near the computer things like that so that is that part of the room so let me show you I have builders next door, which is very fair road, and I'm trying to film this big reveal. Do you know what I mean? So I am in my office now, but this used to be my office, but it no longer is. This is more of a give me geek storage space and where I'm going to keep my wardrobe, <laughs> basically. So as you can see, all the new deliveries and stuff I've had are just here. So here is a little reveal from this way there are a couple of things still not done and this is where my desk was and things like that it's just in a process so you can see the door and then this is where a lot of the cuddlies are because for example that is a massive unicorn um <laughs> so he's sat up there with a load of other cuddlies there are surprisingly a lot up there but um yeah that's just the way it has to be when you're a collector, you know what I mean? And also, I have some in tubs because I can't get rid of them all, guys. I've got rid of so many. Up on this side, I've kept some of the up plush that I don't want to squish into any places. I need a frame for, desperately. This is a amazing uh, painting of Remy. And then this is where the bookshelf of like sensitive things are which is so much better because i was always worried about them being in my room and people would walk past them all the time and it was just a bit scary to have them really close and easy to get to and i've got all my books at the bottom this is the cat's little area oh as you can see the cats love this area and i would never take it from them but now they have a rug to enjoy and they love this rug so i couldn't get rid of it then this is all of the give me geek stuff as well as some of my stuff at the bottom as well like records and things i've made this little l shape which i know seems a bit like impractical but it's got some clothes in and extra stuff this part is really great for taking photos on so like for the website and things like that this is behind the door that's it so yeah that's what it looks like in here so guys that is the end of my room transformation i really hope that you love what i've done with it let me know down below what you think um i feel like i've done really well at being brutal with things i have given over like I think it's something crazy like 30 bags to like charity or for the brute sale or to sell and things like that. I'll also be selling some stuff on Depop if you're interested. I'll leave the link to my Depop in the bio below. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a like if you liked it and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you very soon.